This is the HPC 8 Fun disassembly and assembly video. The tools you're going to need are a 8mm, a 5mm, and 4mm Allen wrench, a bottom bracket lock ring wrench, and a bottom bracket wrench for a 16 notch external bearing bottom bracket cup, and then some wire cutters or scissors. The first step is to take your 8mm Allen wrench and turn the crank arm bolt counterclockwise to loosen it and take the crank arm off. The second step is to take your crank puller for a square taper bottom bracket. Thread it in and then you're going to twist it around clockwise and pull out the crank arm. Next you're going to take your 4mm Allen key and you're going to loosen up all the hex screws on the HPC adapter plate. When you take off the chain ring and adapter plate, be sure that the spacers on the inside, there's two washers on the inside of each screw uh, that come out and collect it in your hand. Now let's move on to the non-drive side and you're going to take your 8mm Allen wrench and you're going to loosen up the crank arm on the non-drive side. Now we're going to take our crank arm puller and we are going to thread it in clockwise, make sure we get enough threads in there, and then we're going to pull off the non-drive side crank arm. Make sure you turn it clockwise. The next steps only for installations on 68 millimeter bottom brackets. You're going to get the bottom bracket wrench for a 16 notch external bearing bottom bracket cup and loosen it counterclockwise. After that, we're going to grab our bottom bracket lock ring wrench and we're going to twist it counterclockwise. Unloosen that lock ring. Next, we're going to take our 5mm Allen wrench and loosen the screws that hold in the left side plate and remove it. We are now going to remove the speedometer cable so we can pull the motor free of the bike. So we're just going to unloosen that and then next we are going to get uh, some cutters and just snip that zip tie. And now we're going to gently remove the motor from the bicycle and it should come out easily. And now we're done with the disassembly. The tools we need for assembly are a Phillips head screwdriver, a 4, 5, and 8 millimeter Allen wrench, a bottom bracket lock ring wrench, a crank puller for a square taper bottom bracket, a bottom bracket wrench for a 16 notch external bearing bottom bracket cup, some snips, and zip ties and some grease. The first step is to install the mid drive motor from the drive side and make sure you push it in all the way flush against the frame. Next we're going to go to the non drive side we're going to install the left side plate and put some lubricant on the threads. We're going to twist the screws which are M5. So you're going to take your 5mm Allen wrench and you're going to screw the screws clockwise snug. Then you're going to put your lock ring on and you are going to hold the motor in place. Lock it down, get it tight with the lock ring wrench. You're going to make sure it's tight. Tighten it clockwise. Ditto with the bottom bracket wrench for the 16 notch external bearing bottom bracket cup. Tighten it clockwise. Make sure it's secure. Then you're going to finish up with the screws and make sure they're tight with a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. Now you're going to install the non drive side crank arm. You're going to tighten it with the 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Crank it down. 
and make sure your chain ring and adapter plate are, are as shown with the two spacer washers on the inside so when you put it against the motor it spaces it out of those two washers. Tighten it down with the four millimeter Allen wrench clockwise, five screws. Now you're going to put it on the drive side crank arm with the 8mm Allen wrench, tighten it clockwise, crank it down, and your final step is to put on the chain to make sure it works and you're done.